Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wishdom Pillars. Today, we're diving deep into the daily routine of one of history's greatest minds, Marcus Aurelius. This Roman emperor wasn't just a powerful ruler, he was also a master of self-discipline and wisdom. His morning rituals and daily habits, rooted in Stoic philosophy, have inspired countless people across centuries to lead a life of purpose and resilience. If you're looking to build a routine that fosters inner peace and strength, you're in the right place. Let's explore how Marcus Aurelius designed his days to become the philosopher king we still admire today. Lesson number one. Wake up early. Waking up early is a habit that many successful individuals swear by. The benefits range from increased productivity to improved mental and physical health. While it might be challenging for some to develop this habit, the rewards are immense. Getting up early allows you to start the day on a calm and organized note, make time for personal growth activities, and set the tone for a more balanced and intentional life. Here are seven key points to understand the importance and benefits of waking up early. Increased productivity. Early risers have fewer distractions and more quiet time in the morning, which helps them focus better and accomplish more tasks. This peaceful period is ideal for planning the day and tackling complex activities. Better mental health. Starting the day early can reduce stress levels. It gives you a sense of control over your day and provides time for mindfulness practices such as meditation or journaling, which enhance mental well-being. More, time for exercise and self-care. Waking up early provides extra time to prioritize physical activities like yoga, running or stretching. Exercise in the morning boosts your energy levels and releases endorphins, improving mood and setting a positive tone for the day. Healthier eating habits. Early risers often have time for a nutritious breakfast, which is essential for fueling the body and mind. Skipping breakfast can lead to unhealthy snacking later in the day. Enhanced discipline and willpower. Consistently waking up early builds discipline. It's a sign of self-mastery which often extends to other areas of life. Developing this habit enhances willpower and self-control. Improved sleep quality. Waking up early encourages better sleep patterns. Early risers tend to go to bed earlier and enjoy a more restful and uninterrupted sleep, which positively impacts overall health. More time for personal growth. The quiet morning hours are perfect for activities that nurture personal growth, such as reading, writing, learning new skills, or pursuing a hobby. This extra time can help in achieving long-term goals and aspirations. Lesson number two, dot journal. A journal is a periodical publication that presents research, reviews, and scholarly discussions on a particular subject or academic discipline. Journals can be scientific, academic, literary, or professional, and they provide a platform for experts to communicate findings and contribute to the advancement of knowledge. Typically, journals are peer-reviewed, ensuring that articles meet a high standard of quality and credibility. They are essential tools for researchers, students and professionals to stay updated on developments in their fields. Purpose and Scope Journals are designed to disseminate new research, theories and methodologies helping professionals, researchers and academics stay current with trends and breakthroughs in their fields. Types of journals. There are different types of journals such as academic, covering specific disciplines, professional, targeting practitioners, literary, focusing on creative works, and popular, geared towards a general audience. Peer review process. Most reputable journals use a peer review process where submitted articles are reviewed by experts in the same field to ensure the content is accurate, relevant and contributes to the discipline. Structure of articles 
Articles in journals often follow a standardized format, including an abstract, introduction, methodology, results, discussion, and conclusion. This format helps readers quickly understand the research's objective and findings. Impact, factor, and reputation. The quality and influence of a journal are often measured by its impact factor, which indicates how frequently its articles are cited in other works. Journals with high impact factors are considered more prestigious. Subscription and access. Some journals require a subscription or institutional access, while others are open access, allowing anyone to read their content. Open access journals are gaining popularity for promoting wider dissemination of knowledge. Ethics and plagiarism. Journals uphold strict ethical guidelines, ensuring the authenticity and originality of published works. Plagiarism and data manipulation are serious offences that can lead to retraction of articles and damage to reputations. Lesson number three. Exercise. Exercise refers to any physical activity that is planned, structured and repetitive with the aim of improving or maintaining physical fitness and overall health. Regular exercise is crucial for enhancing physical and mental well-being, reducing the risk of chronic diseases and improving quality of life. Engaging in exercise helps strengthen muscles, improve cardiovascular health and promote better mood and mental focus. It can range from simple activities like walking and jogging to more intensive activities like weightlifting, sports and yoga. Types of exercise, aerobic, cardio. Exercise, activities like walking, running, swimming and cycling that increase heart rate and breathing for a sustained period. Strength training, activities that involve resistance such as weightlifting or using resistance bands aimed at building muscle strength and endurance. Flexibility and balance, exercises like yoga, pilates and stretching that enhance range of motion and prevent injuries. High intensity interval training, SHIT, alternating between short bursts of high intensity exercise and periods of low intensity recovery. Physical health benefits, regular exercise helps in maintaining a healthy weight strengthening muscles and bones, and improving cardiovascular health. It also boosts immunity and reduces the risk of chronic illnesses such as diabetes, heart disease, and osteoporosis. Mental health benefits. Exercise stimulates the release of endorphins, which are chemicals in the brain that improve mood and reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. It also promotes better sleep, and cognitive function. Recommended frequency and duration. The World Health Organization, WHO, recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic exercise per week for adults, along with two or more days of strength training. Importance of warm up and cool down. Warming up before exercise increases blood flow to muscles, reducing the risk of injury. Cooling down after exercise helps the heart rate return to normal gradually and reduces muscle soreness. Exercise for different age groups. While children and adolescents should engage in more physical activity to support growth and development, older adults should focus on balance and flexibility exercises to prevent falls and maintain mobility. Safety considerations. It's essential to start slowly, especially for beginners, and gradually increase intensity. Listening to one's body, staying hydrated, and using proper form are crucial to avoid injury. Consulting a healthcare professional before starting a new exercise program is recommended, especially for individuals with existing health conditions Lesson number four, cold bath. A cold bath, also known as cold water immersion or ice bath, is a practice where a person submerges their body in cold water, typically 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 to 15 degrees Celsius for a short duration. 
Cold baths have been used for centuries as a therapeutic practice to promote physical and mental health. Athletes and wellness enthusiasts often use it for recovery, reducing muscle soreness and improving circulation. Apart from physical benefits, cold baths are also known to have mental health benefits such as improving mood, reducing stress and enhancing alertness. Improved muscle recovery. Cold baths are popular among athletes because they help reduce muscle soreness and inflammation. The cold temperature constricts blood vessels and reduces metabolic activity, which limits swelling and tissue breakdown. Enhanced circulation. Cold water immersion can stimulate blood circulation. When exposed to cold water, blood vessels constrict and once out of the water, they expand again, improving overall blood flow and cardiovascular health. Reduced inflammation. By constricting blood vessels, cold water can reduce inflammation and swelling, especially after intense physical activity. This helps in faster healing of injuries and muscle strains. Boosted immunity. Regular exposure to cold water is believed to enhance the immune system. It increases white blood cell count and improves lymphatic circulation, which can boost the body's ability to fight illnesses. Improved mood and mental health. Cold baths can increase the production of endorphins and noradrenaline, which are linked to improved mood and reduced stress levels. They can also have a positive impact on mental resilience. Enhanced sleep quality. Taking a cold bath or shower in the evening can lower the body temperature, preparing it for better sleep. It can promote relaxation and help regulate the sleep-wake cycle. Better skin health. Cold water tightens pores and reduces sebum production, leading to clearer skin. It also improves the skin's elasticity and firmness, contributing to a healthier appearance. Lesson number five, socializing. Socializing is the act of interacting and communicating with others to build relationships and develop a sense of community and connection. It plays a crucial role in personal and professional development by enhancing interpersonal skills, emotional well-being and overall quality of life. Through socializing, individuals exchange ideas, share experiences, and create bonds that can lead to collaboration, support, and understanding. Whether in informal settings, like family gatherings, or structured environments, like professional networking events, socializing helps individuals grow, learn, and contribute positively to society. Building communication skills. Socializing improves verbal and nonverbal communication. It helps individuals articulate their thoughts, listen actively, and express themselves clearly, which is essential for building strong relationships. Enhancing emotional intelligence. Engaging with others allows people to become more aware of their emotions and those of others, leading to better empathy and the ability to manage interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Creating and strengthening relationships. Social interactions lead to the formation of friendships, partnerships and professional networks. Strong relationships provide emotional support and create a sense of belonging and security. Improving mental health. Regular social interactions are linked to lower levels of stress, anxiety and depression. Being socially active provides a support system, reduces feelings of isolation and boosts self-esteem. Learning and personal development. Socializing exposes individuals to diverse perspectives and knowledge, fostering personal growth and learning. It challenges one's viewpoints and promotes openness to new ideas and experiences. Building professional networks. In professional contexts, socializing is crucial for networking, mentorship, and career advancement. Engaging with peers and industry leaders can open doors to new opportunities and collaborations.
creating positive social change. Through social interactions, people can mobilize and advocate for causes they believe in, spreading awareness and influencing societal norms and behaviors. Socializing is a tool for collective action and change. Lesson number six. Hardest task. The hardest task often refers to a challenge or goal that appears insurmountable due to its complexity, emotional toll, or the immense effort it requires. Whether in personal development, professional careers, or larger societal goals, the hardest tasks are those that push individuals or organizations beyond their comfort zones, requiring innovation, perseverance, and often a deep introspection. Tackling these challenges can be transformative, leading to significant personal growth or organizational breakthroughs. Understanding how to approach such tasks can help one gain resilience, confidence, and a sense of purpose. Identify the core challenge. Clearly define what makes the task hard. Is it due to a lack of resources, external pressures, emotional difficulty, or something else? Understanding the root of the challenge helps in planning the right approach. Break it down into smaller steps. Decompose the task into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes it less daunting and provides a roadmap to follow, making progress more visible and achievable. Prioritize and plan strategically. Establish priorities among the smaller steps. Focus on tasks that will have the highest impact first. Develop a timeline and allocate resources effectively. Build a support system. Difficult tasks often require external support. Seek advice, collaborate with others, or engage mentors. Having a strong support system can provide new perspectives and encouragement during tough times. Develop mental resilience. Mental strength is crucial when facing adversity. Use techniques like mindfulness, positive visualization, or even professional coaching to build resilience and stay motivated. Adapt and be flexible. Be open to adjusting your plan as new information or challenges arise. Flexibility allows for creative problem solving and ensures you don't get stuck in a fixed mindset when things don't go as expected. Celebrate small wins and reflect. Acknowledge and celebrate progress, no matter how small. This helps maintain motivation and provides a sense of accomplishment. Reflect on what you've learned along the way to continuously improve your approach. Conclusion a conclusion serves as the final part of any piece of writing or presentation. Its purpose is to summarize the key points, provide a final perspective on the topic, and leave a lasting impression on the audience. An effective conclusion reaffirms the main arguments, emphasizes their importance, and offers insight or recommendations, creating a cohesive end to the discussion. Restate the thesis. Start by reiterating the main argument or purpose of the text, but in different words. This helps reinforce the central message and reminds the audience of its significance. Summarize. Briefly recap the main arguments or findings presented in the body of the work. This helps the reader recall essential information and see how the points connect. Synthesize. Don't repeat. Instead of repeating what was already said, Combine the ideas to show how they contribute to the overall thesis. Highlight the interconnections and broader implications. Highlight the importance. Explain why the topic matters. Discuss the broader implications, relevance or potential impact of the arguments on the field or society. Address counterarguments. Acknowledge any counterarguments or limitations in your work. Then, Reinforce why your perspective is still valid or how it contributes to the ongoing discourse. End with a final thought. Leave the reader with something to think about, a quote, a call to action, a question, or a look into the future. This will make your conclusion memorable. Maintain a balanced tone. 
Ensure the conclusion aligns with the tone and style of the entire piece. Avoid introducing new information, but do ensure that it closes the discussion effectively.